Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More and we are doing part two of Charmin Spa Day. So what have I done? So I've taken an old brush of mine that I've had her kicking around and I went over her hair just to get out everything. Give her that uh, spook look that she just seen a ghost look. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, okay. That type of thing. Hair standing straight up. Because um, you want to get underneath as well as you want to get the top layers. But I'm first going to worry about what's underneath so that it can lay. So what have I done? I've taken some Goo Gone and I have sprayed her hair. Just give it a nice spray. Whoops. And this is just Goo Gone. That's all it is. It's an oil base. Went over her hair. And I'm just taking a toothbrush through her hair and just working that through to get those the any of the mats out let it come out on naturally as you can don't overwork them because all you're going to do is pull out hair and uh, which i have i mean some is going to come out you can't help it it's part of the process you're not going to escape some hair loss um just what it is but in the same time you're conditioning the hair remember this is not human hair this is um uh, plastic type hair so you gotta use products that are going to be plastic minded Harry, okay. keep the noise down out there. Now, I don't want to use this brush in her hair anymore because um, it's a brush I use only for when their hair is wet. So now we're going to come to the front of her hair. Let's just tease some of that down. Get that oil in there. Work that in. And remember, when, when uh, you do this kind of thing, let me zoom in on it on the toothbrush here for a second. See all this hair there? Now, now remember to wash out your toothbrush really good before you brush your teeth the next day. Yeah, right. Now don't use the same toothbrush. <laughs> Donate one to the cause. <laughs> They're cheap. You can pick them up at the buck store for this purpose alone. Never use your own and then use it for your teeth. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there for all the young people. Or, and not just to say young, anybody who's thinking, just thinking on that level, don't, 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 don't. This stuff is not good for human consumption. This is only good for doll's hair. Okay, so I think I've worked it pretty much in the under layers of her hair. It almost looks like to me she has like a two-tone thing going on. Maybe that's because she's been bleached out somewhere. I don't know. But anyways, now let's set Charmin up. Let's get her sitting. Okay, so now she's got that look going on. Now we got to bring this hair down and we got to tone it down a bit. Now you can see some of the problems still on in, in like throughout her hair here, but you know what? We're going to get through this and I got a different brush. I should have brought it out when I, before I did, I didn't think I was going to have this problem with her, but let's just keep going. We're doing good so far. And what you want to do is find her natural, um, okay, this brush is not working anymore on her. So I need another brush. I'll be back one second. And while we're waiting, let's see if there's any more exciting stuff going on out here. Oh yeah, there they are. Still working away. Nice to see our electricity bill finally being used for something other than sending the CEO of the company to Bermuda for a month. All right, I'm back. And she is back okay. with a better Now this brush. is just a fold up, one of these little cheapy fold up combs you can buy at the buck store. Better than ever before. Yeah, so you wanna get down in here. I'm just gonna spray my brush. Get in there, get those underlying hair, underlying all this layers down in here. Because she's rooted in layers. And just bring layers down. Need my glasses. Oh yeah, there's a new world. Hey, that always <laughs> helps. Oh yes, it does. Wear them around my neck more than on my eyes. How many of you out there in YouTube land 
have spent 20 minutes wandering around your house looking for your glasses just to find that they're sitting around your neck on the end of a piece of string. Or up on your head. I've had that happen too. And remember to use old towels. Don't get anything that's too... I mean, it washes out. This stuff does. And it has an odor to it too. It can get to you a bit. It's starting to overpower me a little bit here. There we go. And then what we're going to do is just let her sit and let this oil um, soak into her hair. You can use baby oil. It works just, it works well too. You can use whatever you feel that you need for her. Oh, she's starting to take some shape now. Yeah. Now we can see her hair starting to... That's looking oh, isn't that better. starting to look better? Oh, we're, we, we do have some hair loss. I mean, you're going to get some. You can't avoid it. Not when their hair is this bad. But we have saved the head of hair tremendously. Let's get you. Now we want to train this hair at the front to come down. She has bangs, so let's give her those bangs. Now remember, she had a nice mat right in this area too. And we kind of got that right out with that goo gone. Worked tremendous on her. I feel like she's... And you can go back over this. This may not be the last time I do this. I'll probably take her and do this again. I go through her hair and just bring down hair as, as I can get it out of the... These little knotty areas here. See this all in here? This is what I'm trying to work on. It's coming. Okay, let's just leave her at that. I think she looks rather cute. I love her two-tone hair. Oh my goodness, that looks really pretty on her. go just like I say I sprayed a little I did spray right directly on her hair as well sometimes it works better that way so not a lot just a couple I just used a, a little like squirt on there there we go oh I love her two-tone hair that looks really nice on her okay we're starting to look she's got like more like a like a, what I used to wear in the 60s it's a nice little pixie cut they would call that's what I used to call them. Actually, when my two front teeth went missing, I used to call them a pithy cut. And my dad would get me to say it over and over again. What kind of type of haircut do you have? I go, a pithy cut. There we go. So she has a pithy cut. Well, there we go, Charmin. Now, also at the same time as you're doing this, her body's getting coated with this stuff as well, which won't hurt her vinyl at all. It'll relax it. It will soak into her vinyl. Don't be afraid her part plastic that it's um you're putting the same oil on her. Let it let it go on her. Rub it in, you know. It's good for her. It it, it helps clean. That's her where her record goes in. Um helps clean. She's got like a little purple spot or pinky spot there, a little uh bluey spot there. We'll work on that later. Right now, we're about the hair. So, I hope you like this. I hope you got a lot out of this. Just what I do with the hair and we're going to let this dry a bit. i got to go to work today, so this is a good way for me just to forget about her and just go to work, do my thing, and come home tonight at 11 and see where she's at. And I think she's looking darling. So anyways, there's Charmin. We'll just put her there. And um, you can go right to the first of the uh, video and see what she looked like. Janet, this is your doll Charmin with her hair all combed out. So there she is. Um, Spin her around real slow. Let's, let's see from side to the back to this side. And there we go. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. I think she depicts a child about maybe six, seven years of age. That's what I see her as. Maybe eight, but I see her more like six, seven. 
in that age group there. Maybe eight years of age. She's a very adorable doll. There we go. But she's cute. Oh, she's ever cute. She's got that nice little pointy nose. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And like I say, don't be afraid to get in there and just dig in on your doll. And, you know, just, um, you know, enjoy what you're doing. And um, you, you, can't, you can't hurt anything if you stay within the realms of your doll. You've seen what I did here. This is how I did her hair. And you can see what happened and how nice it turned out in the end. A good head wash. Um, a little bit of goo gone on her hair or baby oil, what you like to use, and um, away you go. And um, like I said, don't be afraid to use the oil as well to saturate into her vinyl. It won't hurt her. It's all plastic. Okay, I've been learning a lot from uh, Dodie's dolls. She's been my, my, my teacher here, and um, she's been teaching me a lot. So go to her site as well, and um, she's, she has some great info on there as well. Go to Dodie's dolls. So anyways, there we go. Have a great day. And thank you for joining us.